Good afternoon, all. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, able to see the screen? Uh, yes. Yeah. So we were doing a field status groups, right? Fields, actually. Yes. Okay. So we have covered all the fields except the date field. Put a heading as a date field. Put a heading as a date field. Okay. Okay. So this is these are the different date fields. Okay. Press F4, write down note. Press F4. Press F4 in the date field. Okay. Press F4 in date field. It displays. It displays the calendar. It displays the calendar. Okay. It displays the calendar. From that, select. From that, select F2 button. F2 to select the current date. Press F2 button from your function key. F4 to activate your calendar. And F2 to select the current date. You can see. Press F2. So automatically the date will be get selected. Clear? Press F4 in date field. Okay. So it will display your calendar. It will activate your calendar. Okay. And out of that, just select F2 button. So it will select current date. It will select okay. current date. Clear? Okay. Uh, so uh, in case uh, the document that is uh, not the current date, it could be any previous date. So okay. in that case, do we have any shortcut key? Or no, no, we, we don't to... have. We need to select okay. manually that. Okay. Okay. Next one. Okay. So F2. Press F4 to display the calendar. And F2 to select the today's date or current date. F4 and F2 combination. Okay. Next. So we have so many dates. Translation date. Each and let us. So we will try to understand. Take example. We purchase a material from a vendor. Okay. We have purchased a material from a vendor. Okay. Uh, invoice date is 25-11-2023 or 25-11-2023. Yeah, okay. This is vendor invoice date. Vendor invoice date. Or what I'll do? I'll take 5th of December. 5th of December, 5th of December, okay, this is called invoice. So invoice is prepared and the, we have purchased goods or services on 5th of December. So vendor sends an invoice through courier to our office, accounts payable uh, department through, okay, so we received it on, we received it on 10th of 12 2023 understood so when we have received this uh, 10th of december 10th. so we need to enter this invoice on 10th 10 12 2023 so this is called ledger update date ledger updation when we need to enter in the books we need to we are supposed to enter that is nothing but we are supposed to enter in the books of accounts on 10 12 but due to some reasons because of busy of accountant or some other reasons we are not able to record it on 10th so we have recorded on 11th of december okay okay or else what i'll do 16th okay 14th for example we will take 14th 14th, 15th, and 16th. Okay. And today's date. 
okay what are three different dates we can see here okay what is the invoice date here what is the invoice date here? 14th of December. 14th of 12. When we need to process this invoice? On 16th. 15th. But when we are processing? 16th. 16th. So what are these different days? The invoice date, this is nothing but vendor invoice is nothing but your invoice date. This date is nothing but your invoice date. Invoice date. And what is this? This is, it is supposed to be entered. It is supposed to be entered on 15th of 12th. So this is nothing but your posting date. But when we are entering, when we are entering? 16th of December. 16th of December, that is nothing but today. So it is considered as an entry date. Understood? See, three different dates. These are dates only. But vendor, vendor has prepared invoice on 14th of 12th, 14th to 12th. Okay, that is nothing but your invoice date. And he has sent the invoice through courier and we have received on 15th. And we are supposed to enter in the books. Okay, we are supposed to enter in the books of accounts on 15th. But we missed it on that. Okay, the posting should happen on which date? 15, 12. Okay, so that's the reason when we receive an invoice, then we are supposed to enter in the books of accounts, then that is considered as a book posting date. But have we entered on the same day? No, we missed it and we have entered on some other day. So the day when we are entering the transaction in the books of account, okay, then that is considered as an entry date. That is considered as an entry date. Okay, write down first one, invoice date. Document date or invoice date? Or I'll make this as a document date. Put a heading as a document. I'll explain each and every date. Document date. Write down document date. Document date. This date. This date will be used to capture. This date will be used to capture. This date will be used to capture. Transaction occurred date. Transaction occurred date. Transaction occurred date. Transaction occurred date. Between between company. Between company and party. Party can be anything, vendor or your customer, whoever it is. Okay, the transaction taken place between company and the party. Okay, transaction taken place date, that is. On which date we are doing the transaction? Transaction is nothing but buying and selling, receipt and payment of cash or cash worth. Okay, understood what do you mean by document date or invoice date? Write down, party in the sense, write down in the bracket. Vendor slash vendor slash customer customer slash employee etc. Okay. Okay. Write down example fourteen twelve twenty twenty three. Vendor invoice date. This is nothing but we have done the purchases. Vendor invoice date. Example 14 12 2023 vendor invoice date. Next. Next write down posting date. Posting date. Posting date. Posting date. This date will be used to. This date will be used to capture. This date will be used to capture. Capture. Ledger updation date. Ledger updation date. Ledger updation date. 
ledger updation date in sap ledger updation date in sap write down the example example you can write it down 15 12 20 23 ledger updation date means when we are recording any questions still here any questions still here no no next one. next one entry date next one entry date next one entry date this date will be used to capture this date will be used to capture this date will be used to capture today's date or today's date or application server date today's date or application server date today's date or application server date write down a note write down a note under that write down a note a note note user 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 cannot specify user cannot specify user cannot specify or modify user cannot specify or modify entry date user cannot modify or specify entry date okay just write down example 16 12 2023 under understood everyone okay oh, yeah. what does it mean we can change the posting date we can change the uh, document date but we cannot change the entry date because the system automatically takes the entry date. So for example, as I said that, for example, if I take FB0, FB60, I'll show you. One second. Okay, for example, if I take FZ0 through, see, uh, document number, I don't remember, company code QT01, fiscal year 2023. I'll take one document. Okay, see here. There are number of documents are there, test one, test two. So what I'm I'm doing here, see here, there is a document date, 108, 2023. So here, when I'm trying to post FB50, okay, document date, for example, F4, F2, F4, F2, I'm selecting. So document date, I can change to 15. I can change to 15. Okay. Posting date also, I can change to 15. Posting date also, I can change to 15. Okay. Document date, I can change. Posting date, I can change. But there is an entry date, a concept called entry date. You can see here. See here. See here, the document date is 1-8-2023. And what is the posting date? What is the uh, posting date? It is showing? 1st August. So 1st August. But actually this entry was posted not on 1st August. It was posted on which date? 2nd August. 
second august so what i did actually i am supposed to post on 18 i have received uh, the invoice on 18 okay the in invoice is received on 18 first august and i am supposed to post on first eight okay so what i did what i did document date i have taken 01 08 2023 and here it is supposed to be posted on 1st august but unfortunately today is 2nd august for example i'm taking but unfortunately i am not able to post on 1st august okay and what my manager will ask why it's not posted why it's not posted on 1st august why it's posted on 2nd august so to overcome that what i did is instead of taking 02 actually today is 2nd august okay so what i did is i have taken the posting date as a back dated entry today is actually 2nd august but what is the date i am taking here what is the date i am taking 1st of august 1st of august so why i am taking the 1st of august in the sense so manager or someone my supervisors are not supposed to qu question me why you have not entered the transaction on 1st so i said i felt that okay i have entered the posting date on 1st and i have entered the all the transaction actually it is on i am doing this entry on 2nd by taking back dated entry and i have posted the entry i have posted the entry okay and i'm fee i just and i know that i have posted the entry now there is no problem because the posting date i have taken one first august right but whenever auditor checks whenever auditor checks they will check on entry date here it is no problem okay document date is also showing is on first august and posting date is also showing as in first august but what actually when the entry was happened in the system which date second of august second of august so we can't change the server date this is where from the date has been captured this has been captured from sap server understood so we can't edit it we can't delete it we can't modify it the entry date concept the entry date will be captured from sap server so the user thinks that no one will caught because i have changed the posting date but here posting date we have taken a back dated posting so definitely you will get a question why the entry is happened on second why your posting date is showing as in first understood this everyone uh yes entry date posting date and document date okay okay fine okay and one more thing document should not be document date should not be greater than posting date document date should not be greater than posting date okay document date should not be greater than posting date and posting date should not be greater than entry date posting date should not be greater than entry date what is today's date 16 12 if i'll try to post anything on 18 12 18 12 2023 okay if the rule what is the thumb rule it will show an error at the time of posting what is it it will show 18 12 right yeah so document date should not be greater than posting date and posting date should not be greater than which date server entry date system date clear later or greater whatever you can take you can take it any questions here no okay next next one translation date next one here you can see translation date we have already discussed document date posting date and entry date you won't find here 
ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி சிஸ்டம் வில் டேக் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ரைட் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் டேட் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் டேட் ஓகே டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் டேட் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் டேட் வில் பி யூஸ்ட் டு திஸ் டேட் வில் பி யூஸ்ட் டு திஸ் டேட் வில் பி யூஸ்ட் டு கன்வெர்ட் திஸ் டேட் வில் பி யூஸ்ட் டு கன்வெர்ட் கன்வெர்ட் ஃபாரின் கரன்சி டிரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் இன்டூ லோக்கல் கரன்சி கன்வெர்ட் ஃபாரின் கரன்சி டிரான்சாக்ஷன்ஸ் convert foreign currency transactions into local currency foreign currency transactions into local currency based on based on based on exchange rate values based on exchange rate values okay so what do you mean by exchange rate values exchange rate values is nothing but for example what is our currency we are in india what is the indian currency it's a inr correct so whenever we are purchasing or selling goods or services from us then the us currency we need to pay usd and every day in comparison between inr to usd there will be a foreign currency fluctuation yesterday it was 80 and today it may be 81 tomorrow it may be 82 and day after tomorrow it may be 75 right there will be always fluctuations on foreign currencies because of lot of changes okay so here what is the translation date in the sense on which date we are the car, foreign currency valuation we are taking the exchange rate we are taking for example as i said that 1412 the exchange rate was 80 okay and 1512 here i'll take the exchange rate was 80 and here it is 81 okay and here it is 82 okay and next on 13th 1312 it was 79 okay so if i am manually entering translation date as 13 12 then which rate it will take which rate it will take uh 13 to 79 79 clear so the foreign it will convert inr okay 100 inr into 79 so it's nothing but 7900 inr currency if i am paying in 100 usd okay what is the inr value on that 13 12 i am taking on 13 12 date 13 12 so what is the rate foreign currency exchange rate 17 12 79 79 so 79 in 200 so it will become 7900 in inr understood it will convert foreign currency valuation exchange rate into local currency that is called a translation date translation date understood everyone yes yeah. okay okay next one the so, most yes sir so uh, is it is it means like uh, we will in in this fx revaluation we will mm -hmm. convert the document currency into the reporting currency that correct. is what i correct okay. okay yeah next one next one value date value date it's very important validate write down validate this date will be used to this date will be used to this date will be used to capture this date will be used to capture this date will be used to encashment date for cash transactions 
इनकैशमेंट डेट फॉर कैश ट्रांजेक्शन इनकैशमेंट डेट फॉर कैश ट्रांजेक्शन एंड रियलाइजेशन डेट फॉर एंड रियलाइजेशन डेट फॉर बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन एंड रियलाइजेशन डेट फॉर बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन ओके वैल्यू डेट इन कैशमेंट डेट फॉर कैश ट्रांजेक्शन एंड रियलाइजेशन डेट फॉर बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन वॉट डू मैन इन कैशमेंट ओके सो समन यू नीड टू पे वेंडार इज यू यू आर सपोज टू पे टू वेंडार सो यू आर पेइंग ऑन फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व यू आर पेइंग ऑन फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व सो यू आर पेइंग इट और यू आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम यूर कस्टमर सो दैट डेट फिफ्टीन वेन एवर यू आर रिसीविंग अ कैश that date is considered as a in cashment date you are receiving in cash and same time your vendor your customer has given you on 15th on 15th your customer has given a check instead of paying a cash what he has given he has given a check on 15th okay then when it's going to be real you have deposited on 15th and very next day it was converted into cash the check got converted into cash on 16th okay then all the bank transactions the realization date when it is converted into cash then that that date is known as a value date for all encashment dates for cash transactions and all realization dates for bank transactions that date is nothing but value date so in the entry also value date will be triggered for cash and bank transactions is that clear any questions here any questions nothing from my end okay how about others it's very important value date in automatic payment process it will going to play a vital role important role value date uh navin so for each transaction we will be giving the value date automatically it will pick for cash and bank transaction only it will be activated okay. for cash and bank that's the okay. reason i'm specifically mentioning encashment date for cash transactions and realize and for other expense account other accounts it will not trigger only for cash and bank it will take okay got it. okay okay next one next one write down baseline date one more date baseline date next one write down baseline date baseline date okay for example we are giving we are purchasing or selling goods or services so the payment term is 30 days credit 30 days credit what does it mean so we are giving 30 days credit we are purchased goods from vendor and we say uh, we have agreed that we are going to pay within 30 days or in 30 days okay okay 14 12 2023 okay so it will be calculated from 14 12 2023 20, from this particular date baseline date vendor invoice date from vendor invoice date it will calculate 30 days so write down baseline date baseline date will be used to capture baseline date will be used to capture used to capture used to capture due date for due date for due date for vendor invoice or customer invoice vendor invoice or customer invoice uh what i have given instead of capture make it as a calculate baseline date will be used to calculate 
कैलकुलेट ड्यू डेट वेंडर इन वॉइस और कस्टमर इन वॉइस ओके सो इन टेक्निकल टर्म्स लाइक डॉक्यूमेंट डेट एंड बिजलाइन डेट शुड बी सेम बिकॉज अगेन इट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन अग्रीमेंट सी हियर invoice date is 14 12 so some businesses will calculate from 14th then 30 days in the sense it will become 13 uh, or 30 days or example i'll take one month in the sense i'll take it will take it as an 15 01 2024 correct one month 30 yes. days yes or no yes so someone will calculate on, on the day when invoice is prepared but are, are we received the invoice on the same day did we received no oh, right so in few business cases they will start considering they will re, they will leave 14th they will start calculating from 15th onwards understood so here it will be um, 30 days in the sense 13 1 if we count 14th also If we are not counting fourteenth, we are counting from fifteenth. Then it will become fourteen one. So again, it's a business to business. It's a different. So it may be sometimes document date or from very next day. So the payment terms would be different from business to business. Clear. So according to that, on the invoice that will be mentioned clearly, what are the payment terms, right? that could be payment terms immediate payment terms or 30 days payment terms 60 days 90 days installment payment term discount payment terms we have a lot of payment terms we will discuss this in accounts payable module in depth the payment terms part but here what you need to understand what do you mean by a baseline date baseline date is useful to calculate the due date for vendor or customer invoices what is the baseline date we will discuss in accounts payable is this clear how you are going to consider is it a document date or any other specific fixed date in for example document date is on first but few agreements will be there that should be calculated fixed date fixed date in the sense in a month it should be calculated from 15th onwards not from invoice date onwards clear everyone Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Due date. Next one. Due date. What do you mean by due date? Due date is nothing but payment date. Payment date. For. vendor or vendor or customer invoice vendor or customer invoice okay everyone any questions here no okay this is about your whatever may be the screen only these fields will be there in sap any then okay these are the maximum fields so we discussed about text field date field right drop down field radio buttons field right check box field right man required field mandatory so any questions in this any questions nothing from my end okay so this is whatever we saw okay we saw end users screen and how to find out okay so easy access screen is nothing but easy access screen is sap easy access screen is end user so we are also create master data as right a lot of things as a consultant most of the activities end user will do in this particular screen but are we a end users here in this particular course are we the end users in this particular course no no in future after completion of this course or before that itself 
we want to see ourselves as a consultant, nothing but IT side, right? So what is the thing is, so how, so we are going to work most of our time in the configuration screen, not in this particular screen, not in this particular screen. We are going to work majority of our time in configuration screen. So write down. Okay. One second. Okay. So let me show you that. We have discussed all this. I'll share this document. Already I've shared it. Okay, so this is what Okay. One second. Yeah. So here normally what we are going to do, we are going to configure. We are going to configure our organization structure. First as a consultant. Okay. If we are in implementation project. Okay. Then we need to create organization structure. That is very, very, very important to understand customer client organization structure okay so here okay let us try to design our structure enterprise structure which company code we are going to design okay every batch i'll give one letter normally Not this particular screen. Yeah, this is our screen. Oh, sorry. So here, what I'll do in this particular screen, uh, OX15. else I'll go with eight zero two one second I'm just checking what are the company codes are available here zero one so these are the SAP standard company codes whatever you are able to see here so Apple Atani is there Adani is there. Adani Simmons. L. Won't have anything L. Is checking company. Yeah, great. So what I'll do, we don't have with anything with the L. Okay.
Okay, we will see here. A, B, C, F, e, F. So I'll go with the L. So what I'll do? I'm just checking. Cement company, I'll take it as a companies. Companies start with letter L. List of the company, L and D is there. List of cement companies. List of companies. So I'm just checking the company name, what I can take. And Okay, so what I'm going to take, I'll create it as an, okay, I'm creating it as a Lahari group. So I'll create, my company name is Lahari group. My company name is, we are going to design Lahari group. Right up. Lahari group. Lahari group. Okay. Let's assume it as an Lahari group. Okay. So here Lahari group, we have this particular this particular company is having a branches in India and US. India and US. Okay. In our company name is what is our company? Not company code, company. Lahari group, India and US. In India also, in India also, we have different branches. One company in Hyderabad, one company in Hyderabad, okay, we have in Mumbai. We have in Mumbai. Normally, I'll take almost all similar names. For each and every batch. Okay. And US company is located in San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. Okay, this company, Hyderabad, we have three different plants, three different plants. Okay, one is in Patancheru, Patancheru, Patancheru. Patancharu, Balnagar, Balanagar. Next one we have in in Guntur. Okay, we are dealing in cement and steel. Okay, whatever are there in Hyderabad. Whatever are there in Hyderabad, 
Okay, whatever are there in Hyderabad? Okay, Patan Charu. Okay, just ignore this. Balanagar. Okay, and Guntur. So all are cement plants. What plants we have? Cement plants. Same, cement plants. Okay, Guntur also we have cement plants. What is my company? Lahari group of company is having in two countries. One second. Okay, Lahari group of companies is having two countries. One is in India and another one is in US. Okay, in India, we have branches in Hyderabad. We have branches in branch in mumbai okay and this is central and what are the places we have in india we have in hyderabad and in mumbai i'm sorry and mumbai clear next one when it comes to mumbai we have a steel plant when it comes to mumbai it's a steel plant Okay, it's located in steel plant. Steel plant. Where it is located? It is located in Thane. Okay. Okay, and here also in San Francisco, we have a plant in we have a plant in we have a plant in Fremont this is a state name San Francisco state okay Fremont Fremont and here also here also we have we have steel plant steel plant okay so in us we have a state san francisco over there we have a steel plant which is in fremont clear everyone any questions here so you can how you need to design lahari group And US. Okay. Next in India. In India, we have in Hyderabad. We are in Hyderabad. In India, we have two branches, Hyderabad, Mumbai. Okay. And what are the things we have? Patancharu. And next one we have in Balnagar. Balnagar. Next one. Okay. Balnagar. Next one. So, Hyderabad, we are having three different plants. Three are cement plants only. And next one, Mumbai. 
we have a steel thane we have a plant in thane we have a plant in thane and that is also a steel plant that is steel plant sorry that is steel plant and here also we have a cement plant in Patancharu, cement plant in Balanagar, cement plant in Guntur. steel plant in Thane. steel plant in Thane. Okay, and again in US, we have insert. We have in US, a branch in San Francisco. And San Francisco, in San Francisco, we have a plant in Fremont. And in Fremont, we have a steel plant. We have a steel plant. Just write it down as it is. Just write down as it is. Just write down. Once you are done, let me know. Uh, I'm done. Oh, how about others? Only one person. Okay. Okay, so they want different reportings actually. This company, Lahari group of company, required, they require different reportings. We are going to dif discuss different reportings. One is the company need. Okay. Okay. Local report, local gap reporting. Company required, local gap reporting. Okay, gap transfer generally agreed accounting principles generally agreed accounting principles and they want one more report called ifrs 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 stands for international financial reporting standards international financial reporting standards and another report they are following us gap reporting us gap reporting okay us gap reporting okay us gap reporting this is okay we have three company codes we have three company codes okay for example Okay. So under this company, we are working three company codes. Okay. HYD company. HYD company. Which need to be report in INR currency and as well as USD currency. Okay. What are the currencies we want in reporting? We want common reporting, general report, local reporting in INR and group reporting in USD. Okay. We need Hyderabad and, and next one. We have one more company code, Mumbai. We have Mumbai company code. Mumbai company code, same thing. It's also Indian company. So INR and group reporting we want in USD currency. So US company, we have San Francisco, okay. What is the San Francisco local currency? USD. USD, right? USD and group currency, we are using common currency. 
that is usd for all the three company codes just write it down so three company codes we have one is in hyderabad based company code mumbai based company code mumbai based company code and next one san francisco us based company code okay and currencies are two currencies one is local currency reporting and one group currency that is common currency would be all the company codes usd currency okay and we have financial year this is indian company so local gap i want all the reports should be in financial year april to march april march this is also april to march april to march and this is also april to april to march okay okay this is also april to march april to march and this is also april to march this is also april to march ifrs reporting and local gap reporting i want in okay april to march fine everyone okay april to march but us gap reporting i want in okay us gap reporting i want in jan to december jan to december jan to december jan to december just write it on this picture as it is any questions here so here sure. we have two three company codes and different plants we are in production of cement and steel clear and we need a reporting in local gap reporting ifrs currency ifrs reporting and us gap reporting okay this is my company actually this is lahari group is my company so i'll i'll, I'll share i'll keep this country we will continue from here so i'll make what is your batch number did i mention anything what is stop what is your batch number not sure i am checking the yeah no problem i think it's 23 or 25 yeah yeah 23 only stb 0023 fine thank you b0023 lahari group of companies lahari group of companies configuration okay just write it down so so this is a this client structure we need to map with sap standard structure okay this is client structure or your customer business structure so which we need to map with your sap structure clear okay So Naveen, uh, at the time of company creation, we can select the different financial year Com for company. It will be for company code wise. Correct. 
okay i was i have not seen practical time but uh, i will see when we create this yeah yeah definitely i'll show you each and everything one second the next one organization structure i have created few organization structures let me take one out of that One second. Enterprise structure. Ask you. Excel, 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 VST, SAP, controlling, content. Actually, my system got corrupted last four weeks, so that's the reason everything got scattered here and there. Enterprise structure, yeah, enterprise structure. I don't think this is... Okay, just write down the structure as it is. I'll explain each and every step. Write down the structure. Okay. So this is the structure actually. So we are going to cover everything. We are going to design in real time and here also in our course, everything. Once you are done, let me know. Once you are done, let me know. Done from my side. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I need to put the moment. No problem. Here, Take but... your time. Take your time.
I'm done too. Okay. We will discuss each and every item. Put a heading as a client. Put a heading as a client. We have already discussed in the initial phase, but I'll give you only a glance now. Client. Client. Write down. Client is a separate database set. Client is a separate database set in SAP. Client is a separate database set in SAP. In SAP. In SAP. Next. Continue. Client is a separate database set in SAP. Based on the client, based on the client, based on the client, based on the client, we can store the data, we can store the data, we can store the data, we can store the data. We can store the data right now. We can store the data. We can store the data and we can retrieve the data. We can retrieve the data. We can store the data and we can retrieve the data. Okay. We can you next point right down. Right down. We can use we can use any client number. We can use any client number. We can use any client number. From triple zero to from triple zero to from triple zero to triple nine from triple zero to triple nine. Okay. Example you can write as we already discussed, right? Hundred client, hundred client. Is a development client. Hundred client is a development client. Development client. Next one. Two hundred client. I'm just giving example. Two hundred client. Quality assurance client. Quality assurance client. Okay. Next one, production client. Production client. Okay. Any project, the three clients are common. Development client in any SAP project, these three clients are common. Development client, quality assurance <laughs> client, production. Production uh, repeat the. Uh... Client number for production client. This is not standard. This can be anything from triple zero to triple nine. Okay. okay. Already, I have explained in the client server concept, right? Uh, yes. Triple zero is for uh, real time server. Double zero one zero double six. You remember early watch guide. The uh, yes. series, right? So the client numbers are not common. This client numbers will be decided by your basis consultant. Okay, but any SAP project, we will have these three different clients, development client, quality assurance client and production client. Clear everyone? Any project, you will have minimum three, pro three clients, these three clients. Fine. Probably in end user environment, you would have seen 
only production client you will you won't see this two clients development and quality maybe sometimes quality also you would have seen but not uh, development client but now as a consultant we are going to work in development client quality assurance client and we we can view the production okay okay any project these three clients are common okay in development client we are going to design okay design the system and testing this is testing and this is okay live environment okay this any questions here okay no, no. If, if at all any issues occurs in production then we will do the correction in development and that will be moved to quality quality to to production okay next one next one right down operating concern write down operating concern write down operating concern okay it's a highest organizational element okay it's a it's an highest organizational element operating concern it's an highest organizational element both in both in fi and both in fi and co modules operating concern is a highest organizational unit highest organizational unit both in fi and co modules based on this based on this based on this we can generate based on this we can generate we can generate based on this we can generate based on this we can generate all the profitability reports we can generate all the profitability reports profitability reports for selected characteristics for selected characteristics for selected characteristics and specified value fields selected characteristics and specified value fields selected characteristics and specified value fields okay okay any questions here so we need to understand what do you mean by profitability okay what is the profitability revenue versus cost revenue versus cost what is your income and what is your expenditure revenue versus cost cost right you will get the profitability okay revenue minus cost of goods sold right you remember trading account revenue minus cost of goods sold will become your gross profit or profitability profitability clear yeah. okay we will add what are the direct expenses indirect expenses right that is nothing but what is okay to prepare a price what are the things we will see to prepare one particular product price what are the things we will see we will add all cost of goods sold to sell the goods we will select what is my direct expenses 
what are my indirect expenses we will club all together the direct expenses plus indirect expenses is considered as an your cost of goods sold to cost of goods sold we will add some profit and we will sell into the market okay cogs what do you mean by cogs cogs is nothing but cost of goods sold to sell the goods to sell the goods what are the cost we have incurred what are the expenses we have incurred okay that all we calculate that all we calculate that could be your direct expenses that could be your indirect expenses right the expenses are classified into two types direct expenses and indirect expenses so to produce the product we will spend direct expenses and to advertise to market to store whatever expenses we are incurring that is called indirect expenses direct expenses plus indirect expenses equals to your cost of cost of goods sold right to cost of goods sold you will add some profit and that will become your price that will become price what is price price is nothing but your cost plus profit cost plus profit is equals to your price is that clear yes or no that is called your profitability what is your profitability for example you are producing a pen 10 rupees right you will sell into the market at 10 rupees only um, no no right probably you will make the 5 rupees for example so 10 is your cost of goods sold plus how much profit you are adding how much profit you are adding uh, could you please repeat the question again if you don't mind here you are producing a product that is nothing but a pen you are producing and for that you are spending 10 rupees direct and indirect expenses 10 rupees and will you sell into the market at 10 rupees only uh, no no right we will add another 5 rupees so that 5 rupees is nothing but our profit correct so what would be the price of the product now 15 rupees 15 rupees now what are the in 15 what are the things it inclusive cost 15 rupees profit 5 rupees and the total become 15 that is nothing but your price understood so the profitability how we are analyzing the profit why we are selling at 15 rupees because our cost of goods sold we have incurred 10 rupees to manufacture or direct or indirect expenses to produce a pen or purchase a pen and we are adding 5 rupees profitability that profit 5 rupees okay then it will become your price any questions here Clear no, please. Yeah, please. Right. Revenue minus nothing but revenue minus nothing but your price minus cost equal to your revenue. Profit. Okay. Fine. Any questions here? Okay. No, no, no. Clear. What I'll do is I have already prepared a note for this. I'll explain that also. Same thing I'll explain each and every every batch. Okay, so discussed. We have already discussed production. Okay, client. We have already done operating concern. Okay, write the controlling area. Write the controlling area. I'll share this documentation with you people. I'll, controlling area. It is the highest organizational element. It's a highest organizational element. In CO module. It's not FI module. It is a CO module. Based on this, based on this, we can generate, we can generate cost and management reports, cost and management reports, 
cost and management reports for internal analysis for internal analysis and for decision making and for decision making for decision making okay okay next one next one continue note not note from ecc 6 version onwards from ecc 6 version onwards controlling area controlling area becomes controlling area becomes a mandatory component a mandatory component for fi module for fi module for fi module to implement to implement new gl to implement new gl profit center accounting to implement new gl profit center accounting full stop and continue earlier versions earlier versions earlier versions profit center accounting profit center accounting earlier version before ecc6 whatever it called earlier version profit center accounting you can write it as a classic pca profit center accounting classic profit center accounting was in was in co module was in co module was in co module and a new version and a new version that is ecc6 that is ecc6 it is shifted to it is shifted to fi module shifted to fi module and now it is calling and now it is calling as new gl profit center accounting new gl profit center accounting okay so till here any question uh, what i would like to say is controlling area controlling area is the highest organizational element in co module okay operating concern is both for fi and co but controlling area is the or highest organizational element here it is a unit and here it is a element okay cost element okay for co module based on this we can generate internal reports based on this what kind of reports we can generate we can generate internal reports cost sheets over over uh, heads right budgeting reports right job sheets we can prepare only that is useful only for internal purpose we can't exhibit them to external people and this is useful for internal purpose for decision making what has to be produced more what has to be in a decreased the production right so the analysis we can do the demand forecasting and everything with this controlling area earlier till 6 version ecc before 6 version the controlling area the profit center accounting was in a co module okay and most of the customers are not satisfied with sap because what do you mean by uh, before before new pca means whenever co area controlling area controlling area was with co module okay so in sap fi what are the reports we used to generate is 
GL debit equals to GL credit. That's it. Means what kind of report we used to? Single dimensional reports we used to generate. We are going to repeat number of times this. Single dimensional reports. GL debit, debit equals to credit, credit equals to debit. That's it. So customers, most of the customers were not satisfied with the reporting structure. The clients want multi-dimensional reporting, multi-dimensional reporting. Okay. They want more and more reports. Okay. So to overcome that difficulty, what SAP has done is till that, till that before six ECC six, we used to get these kind of report. Okay. And what SAP has done is after ECC 6, from ECC 6, from ECC 6 onwards, ECC 6 onwards, controlling area, some part, not completely, part of the controlling area has been moved, has been moved from FI to, sorry, CO to FI. Some part. What is that part? Profit center hierarchy. Profit center accounting. Earlier it was a CO module, costing module, controlling module. Now some part from ECC 6 onwards, some part has been moved from F CO to FI. So what it has been changed in the sense, the reporting structure has completely changed. So the clients used to get, are getting multi-dimensional reporting. Multi-dimensional reporting. Understood? What do you mean by multi-dimensional reporting here? GL. Earlier we used to get only GL debit equals to GL credit. But here GL plus business area plus profit center plus segment. I'll explain each and everything. What is GL? What is business area? What is profit center? Okay. GL segment debit equals to GL plus business area plus profit center plus segment credit. Understood? So earlier we used to get only GL debit equals to GL credit. Now we are getting GL debit equals to GL credit, business area debit equals to business area credit, Profit center debit equals to profit center credit means we can generate a reports not only GL wise, we can generate a reports business area wise, profit center wise and segment wise. Okay. With multiple currencies, with multiple views, multiple currencies. Okay. So that is the advantage SAP has giving now to the clients. Understood. So we are going to see in depth of this. Understood what is the controlling area? Why it has been moved? Before controlling area, controlling area when it was in CO module, we used to get in FI only GL debit equals to GL credit reports. Only one, single dimensional. But when it is moved from CO to FI, you will understand probably now it's over the above, but you will understand when we start our GL module. Is this clear? Any questions here? Any questions? I know you will have a questions, but still again, I'll repeat tomorrow. Any questions? Anyone have? Nothing. 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 Okay. We'll repeat again a, a little bit of tomorrow because only two people are there today's session. So most of the people will join tomorrow. We'll continue from tomorrow and here from here after Without breaks, we will continue classes most of the times. And here, we will complete the structure. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, and Vinand, uh, one thing is like uh, about the server access and all. So, uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Today, however, we have started this particular process. So uh, actually, I'm supposed to give as of now, but there are some corrections are there in the server. Our basis consultant is doing it. So, however, tomorrow we will complete the literature part mostly. As I said, that the structure will start tomorrow, then definitely you will get it by Tuesday. 
the server access. Okay. Any other questions? No, nothing from my end. Nothing from my Thank you all. See you in tomorrow's session. No, thank you, Nandan. Thank you. Tomorrow at 2.30 sharp. Okay, okay, sir.